We're definitely dealing with some difficult vocab. The, the whole passage is hard, and then this question has some hard words in it too that we really do need to understand in order to know what they're looking for. This is one of those unpaired evidence questions, so it's really important that we focus on the questions so that we know what we're looking for in these lines. So let's just see if we can dissect it. Which choice provides the best evidence for the idea that Americans too readily accept unfounded criticism of their elected leaders? So there's maybe like three things that are, are really uh, part of this question. Uh, we should try to talk about the leaders. We should try to talk about um, criticism. Unfounded criticism is important, though. That means it's, it's criticism that's not based in anything. If it's unfounded, it is uh, not based in evidence. And that is an important SAT word. It's just good to know. Um, if it's too readily accepted, that means it's like hastily accepted. It's too quick. So there's a lot of strong words in the question that we would kind of want to hope would appear in some version uh, of the line. So uh, that's that's difficult. One thing you can kind of do here uh, is use the chronology rule to try to narrow your focus a bit. Uh, so if we look at the surrounding questions, 34 and 36, we have some clear line references, 2 and uh, 18. And, and so we might think, well, that's a pretty clear dividing line that we would expect that these choices would be out of the chronology, so they'd be wrong, and one of these two would be right because they're within the chronology. So let's see what happens when we do the question. Uh, so 7 through 13, um, that is here. It's a long line reference, of course. 7 through 13. Okay, let's see. Uh, they are by nature frank, brave, cordial, hospitable, and affectionate. Cultivation and refinement seem but to enhance their warmth of heart and ardent enthusiasm, and it is the possession of these latter qualities in a most remarkable degree which renders an educated American one of the most endearing and most generous of friends. So you don't need to understand every word of that to understand this is a very positive statement. Now if we go back to the question, remember, which choice provides the business evidence for the idea that Americans too readily accept unfounded criticism of their elected leaders? So they they too readily accept criticism. So this is a negative idea. This is positive. That, that doesn't seem to match with what we're being tasked, right? So the nuance of the choice, the lines, don't really matter here. It's, it's think about dumb summaries, positives and negatives. That can help us too. Um, so yeah, let's even put that, dumb summaries. Okay, let's keep going, 13 to 18. That is here. Uh, I never was so won upon by this as by this class, never yielded up my full confidence and esteem so readily and pleasurably as to them, never can make again in half a year so many friends for whom I seem to entertain the regard of half a life. Now, I know it's got that word readily, but this, again, is a very positive-sounding thing. Um, they're talking about friends and making friends, and, and, you know, it's a heartwarming kind of thing. And so, again, this doesn't really match our expectations. And so we just did something that happens from time to time. The chronology rule just got broken. We know now very confidently that the answer choices that we would expect based on the line references are not correct. This happens. Occasionally the rules are broken. That's just the way the SAT works. We should use these strategies as much as we can and as often as we can. And when we're stuck, they're great to really get us some answer that's a smart bet. But it's not a sure thing. It's not a guaranteed bet. And so it's it's upping the odds that we're going to guess right, but the chronology rule is not guaranteed. And so this is a good example where I would feel pretty confident that it's going to get broken. It doesn't really bother me because I looked at the choices they're just very wrong. They're the complete opposite connotation from what I need. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we get. 52 to 57. Um, that is here. 52 to 57. Any man who attains a high place among you, from the president downwards, may date his downfall from that moment. For any printed lie that any notorious villain pens, although it mil militate uh, directly against the character and conduct of a life, appeals at once to your distrust and is believed. So, okay, so what are some good things here? Well, we're talking clearly about elected people. We're talking about the president and down, so elected leaders, that part checks off. Are we talking about criticism? Yeah, so they're penning something, they're villains, printed lies, right? So against the character, these are, these are they're, they're criticizing these people. Um, and then uh, the idea that Americans too readily accept it, well, the the downfall of that person comes from the moment that the criticism is penned. So it, Look, I don't need to understand exactly why this is right, but it seems to hit a lot of the boxes that I expected from the question. So it's checking off a lot of things I'd want. Let's look at D and see what we get, 62 to 64. 
um, 64 is right here. Is this well, think you, or likely to elevate the character of the governors of the governed among you? Well, this is a question. And it's maybe talking about governors, but it's not talking about like, I don't know, like, it's not talking about anything else. It's, it doesn't seem to be talking about criticism. I don't, I see elevating the character, if anything, that maybe seems the opposite of criticism. So it doesn't seem to have what I need. And so I would pick C here, maybe not completely understanding that lie reference, but because I knew what I was looking for and I was able to kind of keep it dumb, I, I knew when I wasn't finding what I needed. And so this choice seems to, in a very dumb way, have all the things I need. And so that's a fine guess. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure. And that's going to be good enough for me to move on, especially in a passage like this where I know that 100% certainty is going to be hard to come by because these choices and these, these words are so difficult to understand. It happens. You just got to know when to quit and move on, and you're probably right anyway. So just, you can always come back.